Hi there! Welcome back to Pretty Much Flawless. Today we aren't in the lab. We are actually going to be doing some computer work. We are going to be installing Smart PSS Lite on a Windows 11 computer. So let's get into it. First thing we'll do is we'll search Smart PSS Lite. And we can click on one of these pages here. So, and here we'll hit download. All right, what we'll do is we'll open up Files Explorer, and now we'll go over here to Downloads, and we will unzip this. We'll select OK to I have read and agreed to the software agreement here. And then we can hit install here. Perfect. So we'll hit run smart PSS Lite and we'll hit finish. Here we go. And what we can do is we can just select what we're going to use this for. You could just select all of them. Here we go. Okay. All right. So a message like this might pop up here saying, do you want uh, to allow public and private networks to access this app? Hit allow. And then you can, and then here the software license agreement pops up again. Then you can hit, I have read and agreed to the terms of the software. Hit agree. And then product privacy policy. There's a few things like this. Here we go. And then you can set up a password. And then here I just hit auto login after registration. So shouldn't have to do this. And then next you can just set some security questions here. So and after that you can hit complete. And then here this asks if you want them to collect information. You can click whatever you like there. And now what we can do is we can add our cameras now. So we'll go down here to devices and we'll go add. And then we'll go over here to serial number here. So what we'll do is we have to find the device name and the serial number. So I'll show you how to do that. All right, so once you get to the main menu of your NVR here, what you can do is go to the top right corner of the screen here, and you can kind of see this thing that looks like a barcode. You click on that, and here we have the mobile client and the device serial number QR codes. So we'll scan that. All right, so what we can do is we can just go over here and scan this QR code, and this will pop up here with our device serial number here on Google. So that's pretty neat. So what we can do now is we can take this and enter it in to our smart PSS uh, device add. Okay, so we can now go over here to device name and enter in the device name. And then you can enter in the serial number. Then what you can do is type in the username of your device and the password. And you get five tries until you get timed out if you get this password wrong. So ideally, you don't want to do that. So let's hit add. 
and here we go here it says status online all right so then from here you go home live view and then over here we'll show all your security cameras we'll go house here and then we can click on all of our any of our security cameras here so we'll click on this one and here we are that's good so if you don't like this smart PSS white color here, you can change that. Just go up here to this gear and then go system. And then here, here it says skin grayish white. You can change that over to blue. Go down here to the bottom right corner, hit apply. And it will have to restart the program. Hit okay. And you can see it's changed color now. And here we go. So now it's more of the bluish, blackish skin here, which is if you want it in dark mode. Thanks for watching this video today. Hope you learned something. If you did, please subscribe. That would really help my channel. And if you'd like to see more of these computer type videos, let me know. I might do more in the future. And I'll see you next time.